In this example, we are given that a figure shows a rod of mass m and length l hinged at point h at one end and the other end is connected to a spring of constant k. In equilibrium, the rod is vertical and the spring is relaxed. We are required to find the angular frequency of small oscillations of this rod. Let's analyze the solution to this problem by using the energy method. For which say we displace the rod slightly and release and we consider the rod at an angular displacement theta in which obviously its center of mass will also be slightly raised up and the spring will be elongated. In this situation we can see that on displacing the rod by theta a spring will get elongated by a distance l theta and center of mass will be raised up by a height h which can be given as l by 2 1 minus cos theta. So, in this situation if we write energy of system during oscillation, if we write at an intermediate position when the rod is at an angle theta, this energy can be written as if it is moving at an angular speed omega, we can write its kinetic energy will be half i omega square which is ml square by 3 omega square where ml square by 3 is the moment of inertia of the rod which is hinged at one point. Its gravitational energy with respect to mean position can be written as mgh which is l by 2 1 minus cos theta plus the energy stored in the spring which is half kx square and the extension in the spring is l theta. This is the total energy of oscillation which is a constant it does not change with time during oscillation. So, now we differentiate this energy with respect to time see what we will be getting here it will be half ml square by 3 and differentiation of omega square will be 2 omega d omega by dt plus it will be mgl by 2 differentiation of 1 obviously it is 0 minus cos theta its differentiation will be sin theta d theta by dt plus half k l square a differentiation of theta square will be 2 theta d theta by dt and uh, this must be equal to 0 as overall energy remains constant. In this situation we just have a look on the equation all the three terms uh, are having the terms of angular speed omega d theta by dt and d theta by dt we can cancel all the terms as uh, on the right side of equality it is 0. So, if we further simplify it uh, first term will be 1 by 3 ml square d omega by dt is the angular acceleration which can be written as alpha plus this will be mgl by 2 sin theta and in this situation for a small theta we can state theta is small because we are just displacing the rod by a small amount. So, it can be written as mgl by 2 theta plus this will be k l square theta is equal to 0. So, on rearranging these terms we will be getting alpha is equals to negative of k l square plus m g l by 2 divided by m l square by 3 into theta. We can see that we are getting the angular acceleration of rod as a proportional function of angular displacement which verifies that the rod is executing SHM and comparing with the alpha as omega minus omega square theta which is the a basic differential equation for SHM will get the value of omega comparing these two which can be given as the root of this constant term and just simplifying the terms we will get it as 6 k l plus 3 m g divided by 2 m l. That is the answer to this problem it is the angular frequency of a small oscillations of the rod for which we calculated for small values of theta.